Okay, so the next thing would be to, we're almost actually done here. Whew, just speeding along, speeding along. Okay, so let's get um, a tray over here. I'm using a gold, um, it's like the 24 karat non-toxic dusting powder in a gold, and I've got some lemon extract here that I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> drop the cap in. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the extract in here to make a paint. Use a flat brush like this. Kind of mix this up a little bit. You want it to be kind of a thick paste. You don't want it to be too thin, too watery, or it won't cover um, how you want it to. Okay, let's see if I can do this so that you can see also. So I'll just kind of come here around the edge and see how I just have to really do the top of the letter, not the sides, which saves time. And again, it looks just a little bit neater. Okay, question while I'm doing this, because this... Yeah, they said, what, no vodka? Did we take a sippy? We drank the vodka. <laughs> she said, why lemon juice? Because I drank the vodka. <laughs> sometimes, actually, I find sometimes with this, uh, the 24 karat gold, that the lemon extract works better than the vodka. Sometimes the vodka with it kind of separates. Mm -hmm. So you can use either of them with, you know... Luster dust, petal dust, the 14 karat, or 24 karat. Okay, two more letters here. And then we'll paint part of the tassel with the gold also. Question? Yep, it says when I paint with the metallic color, I find it gets very streaky. Am I making it too thin? Yep, you're probably too thin. Like right here, I'm actually going over it a little bit more because I got a little thin. Now the thing is, a lot of times, you'll, if you have it too thin, you'll usually have to wait for it to dry before you can go back over it. Okay. So that's why it's kind of important to go thicker. Now if you use a lot of it, and whatever I have left in this container, I can just let it dry up and then put more liquid in it when I want to use it again. Now sometimes this uh, 24 karat gold will look like it's tarnished a little bit if you leave it too long you know, without using it for a while. We're talking like a few weeks. Um, but usually the other ones you can use again in either dry form or, wow, woo, doesn't that look good? That's great. Hey, that's good stuff there. Okay, so up here, why don't we go ahead and do like the tassel here, like that. And then even here, um, you could, if you wanted to go in like every single other um, like line, like here. You could do this one, gold, skip one, and then do the next one, gold. And I should probably have just a little bit smaller brush to do this. But again, it kind of saves you time. But yeah, it takes a, um, this kind of take a little longer. What we might do is do part of it this and then with the pictures later you'll see that it's uh, completed maybe because so I think I might bore you if I just sit here and... too late ah quick question ah um, I already know the answer but I'm going to ask it anyway um, uh, one of our members has uh, making a cake with school colors that are green and gold could she use all green and then paint gold like you're doing there yes you sure can okay. and then I can go uh, do a few maybe little lines this way or maybe just a few hold on to this and then just kind of a few up and down here not the whole thing yes that's my okay so maybe for the picture that we take I'll just go ahead back over that